So I'm going to tell you a quick story and then I'm going to jump into it. Um, I spent two days trying to figure this out uh, and I am uh, very technically inclined. Uh, I'm actually, I'm an IT guy, uh, a bit of an engineer myself and uh, this was not an easy thing for me to figure out. I will tell you why. Number one, Ford lies to their customers. Um, just about every, if not every, new uh, vehicle, Ford vehicle, passed, I think, 2018 or 2019, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I'm not sure 100%, come with the Perimeter Plus alarm. Now, I called a lot of dealerships, five in fact. I talked to service managers, I talked to the actual installers of these alarms, I talked to the, the service representatives, all from different states, different cities, uh, and several managers got involved, all saying the same thing, uh, well, I'm sorry, saying different things, but they, it was all wrong information. Here's where, here's where things got weird for me. Um, I noticed that the alarm wasn't working. When the windows were down, you set the alarm and open the door. The alarm wouldn't go off. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, shouldn't the alarm go off? Yes, it should. So, but apparently on my window sticker of this $53,000 transit, uh, doesn't come with the perimeter plus. But I noticed something. Uh, I noticed that there's a module underneath the steering wheel and it has a different model number than what's online with the Perimeter Plus, but that's a Perimeter Plus module with the dial on the top there. You can see the dial. That's for the sensitivity for the shock sensor. Everybody was denying, oh, I don't have the shock sensor. I don't have Perimeter Plus. It's not on your window sticker. It's not attached to your VIN. You don't have this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, wait. I look and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll buy it. Okay, so I go online and I look it up. I look up the Perimeter Plus. Guess what? It's the same module that's under the steering wheel. So what's going on? Do I have a module that maybe does something else and it looks the same as the, the other module? I don't know. It's a different part number though, mind you. Now let me give you some part numbers here, just so you know. I'll put it in the description. It's upside down. But the part number is KN1J19G367AA. That's a perimeter plus. Going under a different model number. Uh, the other model number for the one that's online for the perimeter plus, which is the exact same unit, is KN1Z19A361A. Now, you might have a couple different model numbers for different vehicles on Ford, but that's the one that's advertised online. Now, everybody says, I don't have this, I don't have this. Um, well, it's there, I know it's there, so I start messing around. Uh, so, I got my Forescan, I ordered Forescan just for this, just to see if they were lying or not. So, I'm gonna turn on the ignition. I'm sorry this is a long video, but I felt like I needed to explain things. So we're gonna go ahead and go into forest scan which I already have running we're gonna go into the configuration and programming the APIM module configuration oh, I was already in another instance so I have to go out go back in and hit the play button um, let's see module configuration hit the play button it says I'm not connected to the vehicle for some reason so hang on thank you force scan not connected to a vehicle okay I'm just gonna close the program and open it, reopen it. For some reason, it's saying it's not connected to a vehicle. I'm not sure why.
There we go. Just have to close it and reopen it. Okay, so we're going to go to the configuration and programming. We're going to go to BCMII module configuration. We're going to hit play. Uh, the module you want to look for, I'm just going to put uh, alarm. And it's called perimeter alarm. Wouldn't you know it? It was disabled. I said, well, maybe we don't have the perimeter alarm. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't hurt to enable it if it's not there. It'll maybe throw up an error or something. I enabled it. Turned the car off, back on again, locked it, waited 30 seconds. Guess what? Open the door, alarm goes off. Do it again, open the hood, the alarm goes off. Wouldn't you know it? But the VSS, which is the... Um, what is that? The vehicle shock sensor module down there was not picking up a shock sensor. I was banging on the doors, this and that, whatever. This took me two days. I mean, this is going back and forth hundreds of times of the car. Well, maybe not hundreds, but 25, 30 times back and forth trying to do things, figuring out that there's a time limit between locking the car and trying these things. There's like a 30 second timeout or so before you can start testing this stuff. So you have to do it, set it, lock it, wait 30 seconds, then test uh, your, your configurations. The VSS is dis disabled by default. You must go through the enable process. So after you do four scan, you have to do uh, a bit of dancing on the door and the foot pedal and the ignition. Now, I will link in the description on the VSS Explorer install. Let me okay, guys, sorry about that. So what you're going to want to do is have the vehicle, the driver door open. Uh, you're going to press the brake pedal. And then you're going to cycle the ignition from off to on. You're not going to actually turn the vehicle on all the way, but you're going to cycle the ignition five times. Then on the sixth time, you're going to leave it in the on position. And then you're going to open the door. I'm sorry. Then you're going to um, hear the, the horn three times. You're going to close the door, open the door, close the door. The vehicle will horn one time to indicate that you're actually in the security options. When you're in the security options, now keep in mind, I believe your brake pedal is still... You should be uh, still pressing the brake pedal. At this time, you let go of it. You press it in once. It's either going to honk once or it's going to honk twice. Uh, so you just press the brake pedal a couple times till you get to the option you want. Either one honk or two honks. One honk is on. Two honks is off. Uh, once you have it in the position that you want, go ahead and turn the ignition off. And the security procedure is complete. Uh, and then you've got the shock sensor enabled. Um, that's it. Perimeter Plus for free. Uh, the dealer is probably going to lie to you and they'll charge you whatever fee they want to charge you to, quote, install the item that is probably already installed for you. I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, have a good day.